It's harvest time at Peace and Plenty Farms in Lake County, and owners Melinda Price and Simon Avery will take any help they can get to pick a very valuable crop. Yep, yeah, you got it. Nope. Oh, you got, oh, I, oh no, you uh, messed that one up. Uh, messed that one up. <laughs> well, maybe not all the help they can get. The delicate, hard-to-pick crop they are growing is a spice. Not just any spice, though. The most expensive spice in the world, saffron. Ours is $75 a gram. $75 a gram may seem like a lot, but authentic, high-quality saffron is often more valuable than gold. You guys must be rolling in the dough then with $75 a gram. Not. We're not. Saffron spice comes from the red stigma inside the Crocus satavis flower. And each one of the tiny flowers have just three stigmas inside. It takes 270 flowers to make a gram. Okay. Yeah. So, a lot. A lot. Not only does Melinda and Simon need a lot of flowers, but they also must pick fast. The flower bloom only lasts about three to five weeks. Okay, well I got one. How many more do we need? Uh, 50,000. 50,000. That's okay. what we were picking last year, or the year before, a day. Woo! We were picking 50,000 a day? Yeah. The work is not done when the flowers are picked. Each one of the red stigmas must be delicately plucked from in between the flower's petals. Harvesters say that they've spent untold hours processing saffron at this table. We just get to chit chat and get oh, to know each other. Oh, that's huh? it. Talk story. Flower gossip in here. Oh, oh a lot of that. Yeah. Oh What's said at the saffron table stays at the saffron table, so you'll have to get your flower gossip elsewhere. The next step, though, is to dry the red stigma and then weigh it. All right. So this is a gram in a jar. Just for perspective, one gram is about the weight of a paper clip, and it took weeks to fill this mason jar. So how much do you suppose this is worth right here? Is this... Oh, this is probably $10,000 worth. Wow. Before farming, Simon was a bird biologist, and Melinda worked in the tech industry. The extremely labor-intensive process of harvesting saffron was something the two didn't quite understand when they planted the flower fields six years ago. We were producing a lot of saffron. We were the largest saffron producers in America, but we weren't selling at all, so we're downsizing now. Around 90% of the world's saffron is grown in the Middle East, where land and labor is cheap. Also, right now the market is flooded with low quality, often fake saffron. So they're gonna throw all kinds of weird things in there to bulk it up. Different types of plants, plastic, like who knows what goes in there. So the cheap saffron, I would stay away from. To stay in business, Melinda and Simon sell produce and saffron infused treats at their farm stand in Kelseyville. Oh yeah, it, it really just hit you with, oh my God. I feel like butter and saffron are super perfect together. Saffron is no longer Melinda and Simon's main source of income, but as tough as it is to grow, they aren't ready to give up yet. There is a magic to seeing these beautiful flowers come and go. From the saffron fields of Peace and Plenty Farm in Kelseyville, I'm John Bartow. Hope to see you on the back roads.